Welcome back to Crypto Front. This is the front line where we are fighting for financial freedom. Today, we want to be taking a look at our government because you know what? I just think that not a lot of people are actually paying much attention to this and it is actually a hidden gem in my own opinion, hidden in open sight, but there are actually a lot of gains that are supposed to be made here from our government. I want to kindly ask you just to help me spread this video by delicately tapping the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm and people looking for algo updates will now be able to see this video much more easily. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, I would encourage you to do so really because I do TA on our government and a number of altcoins on a regular basis. And without me further running my mouth too much, let's get back into the price set. So uh, first of all, you are seeing already that I have got a structure which I've put on right here. And uh, this is usually called a falling wedge, really one of the most bullish patterns that you can ever see across the market, simply because like statistically speaking, they have like uh, about a 66% uh, success rate to go ahead and reach their price target. Now, the technical price target of these things is usually the top of the falling wedge. So we are looking at something like 98 cents thereabout. That's almost a dollar, right? So just a month ago, when we were talking about this price targets, we were looking at this support level here, just as the back test of the falling wedge right here, it's looking like we are getting a very good response, right? This is where I was saying that we have already gone up 40% already, but still the first price target that we are looking at right here before we get to the 98 cents, is a still something like a uh, 70 cents that about right so it's showing 67 cents right here but uh, you can actually round it up to something like uh 70 cents because this is where the swing high is so 70 cents is the preliminary price i get uh, off of this um support level that we were looking at right there right the gains have obviously reduced ever since then but i still think that there is uh, still a good opportunity to go ahead and catch that 70 cents uh, mark there about obviously in this market is going to happen time and again and a lot of people actually tend to forget uh, that we have got some leverage uh, crashes that happen especially even if you are in a bull market right so maybe if you feel like these prices are too high for you to buy you could still wait for that leverage flash to show something like maybe a 20 percent decrease or something like that here in the price of algo maybe you can go ahead and buy it uh, probably at something like uh you know uh, 18 cents 19 cents that about right so that could be if you feel like these prices are too high or maybe in the a very best case scenario for somebody who is looking to buy you could actually still wait for something like 16 cents that about do i think it's gonna happen well uh really i've just learned to never say never in this market i've seen like a lot of crazy things happening right you see btc is flying like this all of a sudden there's a leverage crash and then everything falls down 30 percent or something like that so so in a bull market, my strategy has always been to set like limit orders wherever I see that there is actually very strong support. Say. So yes, our strong support levels are actually around something like um, we can say six and cents thereabout. So in the case of any leverage flash that can show up in the market, this is where I will actually be loading more on my algorithm, right? I apologize for interjecting, but I wanted to share with you this news that we have got a Patreon in which we are taking a lot of trades, right? And to be honest with you, we really have been doing fantastic. These are some of the trades that we have taken recently and uh, we have actually registered a lot of wins, right? So it's just $5 per month. Feel free to join if you will. But getting back to our price targets, we say the preliminary price target is something like 70 cents thereabout. I also really like to use Fibonacci retracement levels because what just happens in the market is that like you can see that this crash is really brutal right it's something that is not cool but in either case right what just happens is that the price will not fall in a spread line the price will eventually uh, reach some retracement levels it will go up a little bit with some retracement levels and the bare minimum that you can do when you are retracing after a huge crash like this is the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement level and you can actually see that it's sitting at around something like 77 cents so uh, that's another confluence that we can use there that we have got a preliminary price target of about 70 cents and the Fibonacci retracement is actually showing us 77 cents so we still have got a like, very good opportunity right there and the thing also with Fibonacci retracement levels is that I'm using them in the worst case scenario actually usually what we see in the market is that you actually tend to visit the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level that's also sitting at something like a dollar 90 here for our rent. so off of the current price just getting back to the 0.618 is actually something like an 8x this price again is what we were quoting the last time saying that you know what we may actually get a 10x and easy 10x just 
just buying of this support level and again let me just reiterate this this Fibonacci retracement levels I just like to use them in the very worst case scenario preparing for the worst in a full-blown bull market you easily exceed all those price targets right there so just to be conservative you are just looking at what we have right now at this point right so obviously none of what I say is financial advice and you shouldn't buy or sell anything because of anything I say all right but if you like the content don't forget to delicately tap the like button share this video with your friends and family and then i would have to see you on the very next one take really really good care of yourselves bye